I think one female who may know a little bit about male coaching is Captain Sulu Fitzpatrick, who has played a bit of mixed netball in her day, and she joins us now. Kia ora, Sulu, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, Sulu, before we talk shop, we know that the ANZ Premiership is, you know, starting this weekend. But before we start about that, we want to check in with you. Um, you have been having, you know, a bit of troubles with your health of late um, when you came out and made that announcement that you had contracted COVID-19. So how are you feeling since you made that announcement? Uh, I think it was um, probably a good thing just to be open about it and be quite transparent um, because I think if the more we can do that we can take away the stigma of it um, me personally I'm getting there not as fast as I would like to but taking it day by day and being really well supported by staff both medical and physical so Lou, this week we've celebrated International Women's Day you've often talked about how much the village has helped you raise your twins. How much does that resonate with you now, given what you've faced over the last six, seven weeks? Uh, I love this week. I think it should be all year, to be honest. <laughs> um, but feeling very inspired by many women, both in netball and around our country, um, who have forged the way for us. So really um, looking forward to embracing all those leaders and also making sure that we... Uh, embody being good women ourselves and lead the way for the next ones coming through. So Lou, I want to take you back um, to that joyous night at the end of the last season when you, you lifted the ANZ trophy. I mean, what happened after that? Were you, were you on a high for weeks or, or was it quickly back to normal? Uh, we were talking about this yesterday, me, Mickey and Lini, saying that it possibly could have not been had it happened a week or so later. Um, with everything that had happened in Auckland and the lockdown. So we were really blessed to even have that moment in history. Um, and it's bittersweet because we weren't able to close the circle. Um, we ended up having our end of year prize giving online um, and all those different things. So it's hard. You don't feel the same thing that you do in person, the same energy and sharing of, uh, um, you know, of appreciation and also just, reflecting on the year that had been and um, so I feel like maybe we might have a reunion who knows when um, <laughs> but also very grateful that we were able to do that. And now in the kindest way possible Sulu you are one of the leaders one of the ones that have been around Auckland netball for such a long time and getting that uh, ANZ Premiership win you know was a win for the region and you know the first time ever an Auckland team taking it out how much did that mean to you and how important perhaps, is it to let your team know of, you know, how important that moment was? Uh, I think you could see by the video, it haunts us, like me, Gigi, are so embarrassed of videos. <laughs> but I think it, it shows the raw emotion that we had. Um, and when you look at the players that were in that team, we all had different stories, like my friend Barry, who's now uh, Magic are lucky to have. Everyone had their different stories leading up to that moment even Peter with her journey in and out of Ferns. So that in itself was a moment in time that we were able to share together, but also um, the hard work that all the players had put in all these years and uh, we've been working for. So I think it was shared uh, probably intergenerational. So right from Bubby and all everyone else um, to the young players coming through now in Grace and Tay. Now, Sulu, I think the Mystics' defence have got even stronger than they were last year. You've got Mickey back, you've got Phoenix um, back on a more consistent basis, and you. How awesome is it to be able to work with those two? And how do you think it's is it going to work? Can you give us a little insight around, um, is it kind of going to be a rotation, or do you want to keep it secret? Is Mickey going to be at wing defence? Oh, I, I, we've been looking forward to this for years, probably three years ago when we first knew we were all signing together, we were looking forward to it and we haven't been able to all play together for a season in all those three years. Uh, and now I'm holding it up a little bit <laughs> this year. <laughs> uh, so hopefully we're, we're able to pull it together somehow. But what's good is we've also got more as well. So we've got quite a versatile defensive end. Uh, I'd say you'll see uh, me and Fee in the circle, but also 
that um, Mickey will get in there as well when um, Moore is in wing D, so we're quite versatile. Uh, Lini said I might even end up outside the circle. I don't know if that will even happen, but as long as I don't cough that goal third line, I'll be all right. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking forward to it because I think that we have um, all, many options, and even with Karis, our training partner, uh, she'll be taking the court probably uh, most of the season. So I think not just for our team, but a lot of teams, it'll be about the depth and who can take the court at any given moment. Helene has alluded to the fact that you're now the, the hunted as opposed to, to being the hunters. How does that change you know, your mental approach to the season? Uh, it's a balance of uh, confidence but also having humility and being aware that this is a new year. We can't rest on anything last year. Uh, when you look across the board, everyone is strong. So it's who's going to be able to turn up each game. Uh, uh, we got a nice question from Stormy yesterday in the season launch saying who we thought would win the season and I refuse to name any other team. <laughs> so we are playing to win the season and I think that's no secret. And I hope that no other team would feel any different. Otherwise, we wouldn't be playing. So we're gunning for it uh, and we're focusing on being better than, next, better than last season. You know, I was actually going to bring that up because that was something that stood out for me in that interview because a couple of others did say, oh, these two might be in the final with us, but didn't lay me. But you were quick to say, no, 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 we're winning. You know, that's the kind of mentality, you know, that you would expect from a championship winning captain. And you've done it before with the Pulse as well. So how important is it to kind of not give that energy to other teammates, especially some who are quite young, but having that mentality that we're not here to just participate, but we're here to win again. Mm, and it comes with um, with time and not also knowing that you can trust your team. We're really blessed that we kept the core of our team uh, from last season and also brought back, some, brought back a mama and a, a leader who's been with us on the sidelines and also brought on over Mons. So we're really blessed in that sense. Uh, everyone adds value. And so it's about who can take the court. Um, I don't think we'll probably have a starting seven um, to begin with because we'll be looking at who who's right for each moment in time. Now, Sulu, this is going to be a really interesting competition for many reasons, but one being that Commonwealth Games is hard on the back of this competition. So there's no doubt all those selectors are watching. You know, are they giving you things during this competition that they are wanting you to work on? How much communication happens? Because obviously it's, it's a fine balance between wanting to do what's right for your ANZ team, but also personally being prepared for Commonwealth Games. Yeah, and that's always been the balance and Knowles and the Civil Friends staff have worked really hard to make sure everything aligns. So what what they've done now is that anything that we're working in franchise should feed in and add value to the Civil Friends program as opposed to being any different. Um, so they're also making sure Debs is sending all of us uh, different work-ons in terms of skill sets. And so a lot of that comes with analysis, uh, stats, all those things. So we're keeping in touch and making sure that when uh, when ANZ finishes, that we're ready to move straight into uh, internationals because there's there's not much of a window. I think trials is like a week or two after grand finals, uh, so you've got to be ready to go. Now I've got a tough question now, Sulu. Um, you mentioned Barry before. How did Bailey Mears get that nickname? <laughs> I actually have no idea. I think it was probably um, Peter or or uh, Maria, one of those two. But she embraces it. She seems to enjoy it. <laughs> actually, I think I remember Maria calling her Barry under the hoop back in the day. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I'll yeah. just start calling her Barry in commentary. Yeah, I'd but no Barry. one really brought it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barry <Yeah>. scores. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Salute, thank you so much for joining us and we'll be watching very closely for the season ahead. Thank you for having me.